Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my August yays, nays, and a's. So, um, I will say, in August, August was a really crazy, crazy month for us. I feel like every video I'm always saying like, something happened, something's crazy, but you guys, like truly and honestly, that's my life. Like, stuff is always going on and happening to me whether I want it to or not so yeah anyway this month we moved out of the condo and moved into our new house so yeah so if I wasn't packing I was unpacking I was cleaning I was you know setting the house up I mean it's just been crazy also his parents came down the weekend after we moved to the house to help us with stuff around the house and unpack and all of that. Like two days later, my godparents came up from Texas to visit to see the eclipse and then them and my parents went to Canada. Um, so I watched my sister and then after that we went up to Washington for um, one of his friend's weddings. It's just been crazy like we have been so busy so anyway so my point is <laughs> I don't have too too many like new products because I really wasn't using a lot of new products um, I did purchase a lot of new products so we will be kind of looking more into those um, in later videos but what I have we're just gonna go over yeah, anyway, that made no sense, I know that. Anyway, if you wanna go ahead and just see the month of August, yays, nays, and a's, then just keep on watching. This isn't a new product for me. Um, I've been using this for years. My mom turned me on to this, and she's actually the one that bought me this little guy here. It's not a little guy, it's a big guy. Um, but it's the Dr. Bonner's or Bronner's, excuse me, 18 and one hemp almond pure castile soap. I've used lavender before, I've used peppermint. They have, I wanna say like an orange. They just have all different kinds. You can get them. Um, the thing I love to use this for is also to clean my brushes because it doesn't leave a harsh soapy residue on it. There's no detergent in this. Um, and it, cause there's so many oils in it, it also helps kind of condition my brush hairs. So I really, really like to use this to wash my brushes with. Awesome, awesome product and I love it. So yeah, so then the next thing I have, which this is almost gonna be in an empties, which I need to do my empties soon because that thing is like overflowing. Um, but this is the Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. This I got in a uh, FabFitFun, FabFitFun. Um, and I really, really like it. I actually have it in my hair today. You probably can't really see. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I really like this. It is a little on the spendy human. Mom is filming. What are you doing? Okay, can you lay down? I do really like this product. I haven't been using it all month, so yeah. Okay, the next thing I've been really liking is from NYX. It's the Pro Foundation Mixer. I have mine in the olive shade. So this is really nice because I've been doing a lot of self tanning. Instead of going back and repurchasing um, all of my foundations in darker shades, I actually just got this little mixer. Um, like I said, this, <laughs> really? Um, I do really, really, really like this. I have it in the olive shade, like I said. It does come in like a lightener shade. Um, I think there's a warm shade olive, and I feel like there's one other one, but I don't remember what it is. Anyway, I got the olive shade because I do have a little bit more of an olive undertone and just a few drops of this, and I can darken up any of my foundations that I need to. The other nice thing about this is it doesn't change the consistency of foundations. Sometimes if you, you have to be really careful if you're mixing foundations, like if you're getting a darker foundation or a lighter foundation and you're mixing it in with another one, um, you know, for example, if one's oil free and one isn't, they're not gonna mix very well. So it's just, you just have to be a little bit careful. So I like mixers like this because they generally don't change the consistency or the formula of the foundation that you are trying to darken or lighten. So I do really like this. I've talked about these before and um, I actually have two new shades in addition to the other two that I 
had on hand but these are the NYX faux black eyeliners so I have four different colors I think I'm only missing like two or three um, maybe even four I don't know I have quite a bit of them so I actually have this one this is the black olive I have this on my um, bottom lashes today so I love this one in fact I can probably swatch some of these so these are just supposed to be really really dark deep shades um, you know kind of that black shade um, but have a little bit of a dark color to it who is texting me okay are the swatches so the green one is black olive the one next to it is burnt sienna and then we have blackberry and then we have um, obsidian I really like these they're super creamy super pigmented you can smudge them out they stay in my waterline really well um, yeah I just think these are awesome awesome eyeliners and let's get real I'll probably buy the other ones too because I really like them I think they're really really good this bad boy right here I think when this video goes up, you will already see the video on this, but if you haven't, just know it's coming, but I'm pretty pretty sure it's gonna be on before this. So this little guy right here is called the Face Halo. There he is. So I'm not gonna talk too, too much about this little guy. Please know that this is what it looks like after I've used this for about two or three weeks every day. Well, pretty much every day. Every day that I've had makeup, every day I've been filming, this is what I've been using to take my makeup off. It's a microfiber and then it's got like a satin trim and you literally just wet it with water. You don't put any product, you know, you don't have to do any, you know, facial cleansers or anything like that. You just take this, put some water on it, wipe all of your makeup off and it's gone. It is magic. I love this thing. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail because um, I have a whole video dedicated to this, but I love this so much. I love this so much. I gave one to my best friend. She really likes it and yeah. It's an awesome, awesome product. If you haven't um, heard of it, go online, look them up. Chloe Morello um, is like a partner in with this brand, I think. And so she has a whole video on it. I'm gonna have a video on it, or I already do have one. So yeah, take a look into it. It's an awesome, awesome product. My Beats by Dre. Uh, na 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 na. I know that's not his song, but you know, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Funny story about these. So David actually got these for free and um, cause he's a teacher and they had like a sale at the Apple store going on or a promo and he bought these. Um, I let him pick out the color, all of that. Cause you know, they were his, he got them home and he decided he didn't like them as much. He liked his other headphones better. So he gave these to me and oh my gosh, I love these things so freaking much. I can't believe we got them for free. Awesome. Okay. So now let's get to the A A's one of this. So I got this in my FabFitFun box. This is from Juice, Juice, Juice Beauty. Um, it's the Smoothing Eye Concentrate, and I've already used quite a bit of it, as you can see. So this, I'm on the fence about. I'm gonna definitely keep using it, see how I like it. So my eye cream that I was using was from Philosophy. So it's definitely past the shelf life and I was like, all right, let's just get rid of it. So I started using this and I just don't think I've found the right like combo mixture of it. So the thing I do like about it is it's very nice and thick and soothing, which or smoothing, which is what it is. The only thing I'm having issues with is that when I'm rubbing it in and all over, like especially when it's out here, it's just too thick almost and it doesn't absorb into my skin like I have to really work at it and so maybe I think maybe it's just user error I don't know but it's not a bad product I'm just having issues with the actual application of it and it just seems like either I use too little and then I have to get more or I use way too much and then I'm like you know trying to get it padded in forever so if you've used this let me know if you have any tips or tricks on that but that's my eh 
product of the month. So now we're gonna get into my nays. So I have two products for the nays. So the first one I was really upset about. So this is the Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. This is the mini version here. And so many people love this mascara and say that it's just like the best and they absolutely love it. It's a cute little package. Um, I generally only, like especially in high-end ones, I get the little ones, like the mini versions, because mascaras expire very, very quickly. Oh, we have another little girl with us today. Hi, Spookers. Um, and so yeah, if it's a high-end mascara, I get like the mini versions. If it's drugstore, obviously I don't have a choice. Um, what are you guys doing? No, don't play right now, please. So this is it. It's really cool packaging and the wand looks like this. Kind of an hourglass. Not quite as big as the Too Faced wand, but very similar. And it's very black, I will say that. My issue with this is I love the formula and I quote that because let me just finish. I loved it when I put it on. It made my lashes look so nice and it didn't make them clumpy. And it was very, it was like a thin formula, but not that weird thin formula that like, you know, is just like, doesn't work. Like for me personally, the Maybelline Great Lash, that, that formula is too thin. It doesn't do anything for my lashes. It doesn't curl them, it doesn't give them volume. It just, just coats them with some black and that's it. This has that same kind of formula, but it actually does curl them. It gives them volume. It's so beautiful. It separated them. I put it on and I was like, oh my gosh, this might be my new Holy Grail mascara. I can totally see why everyone likes it. And I wore it throughout the day. And you know when a product doesn't work when your significant other in the middle of the day goes, what's wrong with your eyes? Why are they so black today? Like you need to go check your mascara out. You know, you know, if a guy says something is bad. So I was like, what are you talking about? And I looked and it had smeared and smudged and ran all over the place. It was horrible. The transfer on this for me anyway was not good. And yeah, so for that reason, I don't like it. I don't. So I'm probably gonna return it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna return this. So then what I have lastly is from Bite Beauty and it is their matte creme crayon and I have it in the shade Kava. Now this is strictly a shade thing. I got this color because it looked so pretty. It was so different from other like lips that I had that it was like a dusty kind of lilac. The other thing is, is that Kathleen Lights uses this. This is like one of her favorite colors and I generally love everything that she does and we have similar skin tones-ish. Most of the time, anything that looks good on her looks good on me and we wear a lot of the same foundation colors. So I was like, you know what, maybe it'll look really good on me. No, it does not look good on me at all. I'm gonna swatch it here. There's the color right there. And on me, on my lips, this color looks gray. It looks like I'm sick, like I'm deathly ill. It just does not look good. Even on my hand, like looking at it, I'm like, even now I'm like, gosh, that's, that's a pretty color. But for whatever reason, when I put it on my actual lips, it's a no-go, it does not look good. I look like I'm sick. My best friend came over and I was like, just look at this color, just tell me what you think. And I put it on and she was like, no. And I was like, okay, so I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, that is everything. Those are my yays, nays, and a's for the month of August. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have used any of these products, what your thoughts and opinions are, what were some of your faves or not so great ones for the month of August. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, wait. Time out before we leave. You thought we were done. Suckas, we weren't done. Um, 
I want to say, really want to say is a huge and probably my favorite thing of the month of August is as corny and as incredibly cheesy as this sounds is you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, I did upload a video on a palette declutter slash collection. I did change the, the name of that for those of you that know what I'm talking about. Thank you. Um, as of right now, as of today, that video has had 3,658 views, which is incredible. Also, I think I've gained a about 20 additional subscribers from that video alone. So I just want to give you guys a huge thank you. Like you don't know what it means to me, especially that first like day or so it was just going up like a hundred and you know, I was like, Oh my gosh, this surpassed like my boyfriend does my voiceover video. Like this is awesome. And then it just kept going up and up. And I was like, there's no way, there's no way. And then it hit like the 500 mark and I was like, oh my gosh. And then it hit the thousand and it just kept going and going and going. And it just made my heart feel so good, especially because that was a video that I wasn't sure I was even gonna post because there's so much background noise. The lighting was all crazy because we were right in the middle of moving and it was like a last minute, let me hurry up and film this really quickly kind of a video. Um, so thank you guys so much, honestly, you know, for all of the love and support that you've shown me and it really does mean so much to me. I love each and every one of you. So thank you so much for being here and loving me and my channel, whether you have known me for a really long time, you don't know me at all. You've been subscribed since my first video. You just subscribed. I don't care. I love each and every one of you. You all mean so much to me and I just want you all to know that you are all beautiful inside and out and you know I've always said this <laughs> um, makeup comes off but a beautiful soul is eternal and so thank you so much for all of your beautiful souls I really appreciate it so yeah okay that's it we are done <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys in the next video bye guys